Hey, I'm Rejected Shotgun. So the Queen of Junkertown has a very fascinating backstory that hasn't been delved into very much in any of the in-game lore sources or even the comics. We do know, however, from Blizzard employees that she is a mech battler and throughout the Junkertown map we can see various destroyed mechs and what is perhaps actually the Junkertown Queen's very own mech. What this could mean for the Queen as a character has big implications. So today, let's talk about it. Real quick, I want to remind you guys that I'm doing a $50 Steam gift card giveaway. If you want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get notified, and leave a comment on this video, and you'll become automatically entered into the giveaway. The giveaway ends in two weeks though, so make sure you don't miss your opportunity. Now let's get back to the video. Through various sources, we have had it now confirmed that the character of the Junker Town Queen has obtained her position through various gigantic mech battles to the death. The Queen of Junkertown was nobody before she began battling with mechs. In Junkertown, it's customary for giant mech battles to take place and for the citizens of Junkertown to bet on said mech battles. Not only is money bet on the mech battles, but actually the leader of Junkertown is decided by the best mech battler that there is, the top dog, the number one spot. In the lore of Overwatch, the Junkertown Queen is that number one spot she is the one who rose to the top the ultimate mech battler that is undefeated in fact if you take a look around the junker town map you will actually see various destroyed fighting mechs some have wheels, some walk on two legs, but there's a common trend. These mechs are beat up, they're missing pieces, and they are not functioning. Most likely because they got beaten in mech battles. And by who? Well, it could be anyone, or it could also have been the queen. As she is the queen after all, that means that nobody has beaten her in mech battles. In fact, the queen's very own mech may have been discovered on the Junkertown map. While the title of queen is given to a female leader of of the Junker Town, there is actually a mech hidden away, fully functioning and under repair in a little hidden spawn room that most people don't really pay too much attention to. What's interesting about this mech in particular is that the license plate on it says King. Now, what kind of mech would the Queen of Junker Town reasonably drive? Well, perhaps she named her mech the King of Junkertown. So called, so she is the queen and her mech is the king. What makes me think that this is possibly her mech is not just the queen and king reference there, but is the fact that this is actually really close to the queen's throne in the map. Not only is the mech close to her throne, but it is also in perfect condition and is clearly running. You can see that it's being taken care of. There are tables and things in front of it that show that this mech is being very, very well upkept. Now, if the Junkertown Queen is to become a new character, we might be getting her as a mech character just like D.Va. Now, if you didn't know, Two of D.Va's legendary skins for her character are actually Junkertown mech battling skins. These two here actually show off a little tidbit of lore when you hover over them that tells you about the Junkertown mechs. In fact, this was actually in game before Junkertown or the Junkertown Queen was revealed in any way at all. In fact, the skin that D.Va has for her mech here looks very similar to the mechs that are found all around the Junkertown map. Whether or not this skin shows that D.Va was actually actually in Junkertown is debatable, but the fact is there that this is one of the Junkertown mechs. Now, this could have pretty cool implications if the Junkertown Queen does in fact become a character in the game, because she very well could be a mech fighting character. If the Junkertown Queen obtained her position as the Queen of Junkertown through mech fighting, it would make sense that she actually drives a mech into battle, as that's what she is best at and how she became such a high-ranking member in the Junkertown society. In fact, it would be pretty much suicidal for the Junkertown Queen to do anything outside of her mech if that is where she is most comfortable in combat. So if she does become a character, I think it's incredibly likely that she will be another mech character just like D.Va, where she can be de-mechd and actually be another character outside of her mech just like D.Va. In fact, having another mech character in the game could add some really interesting variety, although the game would become sort of a mech battle simulator at that point and 
who knows how that would actually work out but the idea is there the Junkertown Queen is a mech battler and it makes sense for her to be in a mech in a battle now this is all based on the speculative fact that the Junkertown Queen will become a character in the future right now we don't know anything about that we just have various hints and subtle clues pointing in the direction that she will become a character and like I said in this video earlier there's a very good chance that she might be a mech battling character like diva because yeah that's her thing that's her flow she is a mech battler so tell me what you guys think if the junker town queen does come into the game do you think she's also going to be in a mech like diva let me know in the comments and if you like this video and the idea let me know by leaving a like on the video and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to my channel so that you can always be updated with overwatch news that's all for today though thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day like follow